So this video connects to, um, again, some of the work that you did with the algebra tiles. Uh, and now with your terminology, you've learned what terms are. Um, what we're going to look at now is the difference between like terms and unlike terms. So like terms are the same variable to the same exponent. So x, 7x, and negative 2x, those are like terms, as are 3a squared, negative 4a squared, and 9a squared. Um, but what are not like terms, for example, are x and x squared. So terms that are not like terms have different variables or have the same variable, the different exponents. So x and x squared have the same variable. They both have an x, but one's x to the 1 and one's x to the 2. Um, or x and 3t, those are totally different letters, and so they are not like terms. Um, just one other thing to keep in mind. If I write x, y, and then I write y, x, these are the same. So the order isn't important, but if I write x squared, y, it is not the same as y squared x. Because in this one, the x is squared, and in this one, the y is squared. So just be careful of those types of things. So for collecting like terms, what you want to do is put the things that are the same together. And remember, you can change the order of adding. So 3 plus 2 is the same as 2 plus 3. The order doesn't make a difference. So in this example here, your terms are already collected. You already have the things that are alike together, so you don't have to do that part. You can go straight to the answer. 2a's take away 4a's. That's just the same as saying, what's 2 minus 4? So it's just like adding and subtracting integers. So 2a's take away 4a's is negative 2a. The next one, same thing. It has already been collected for you. The like terms are already together. So 2y plus 3y, that's 5y minus 2. Now, you cannot keep going. That is your final answer because this one has a y and this one does not. So these are not like terms and you are done. Now, the next one is a little bit more challenging. What you have to do is collect the like terms yourself. One thing that I find really helpful is to use different colors or different symbols to collect my like terms. So for example, I'm going to put circles around the x's and squares around the y's. Then I put my x's together. And then I put my y's together. And I take very careful care that I include the sign that negative sign belongs with the 5y. So I include my sign. Then I simplify. What is 2x plus 4y? It is 6x. Now here's where people go wrong. When you simplify, it's like this becomes one question and then this becomes one question. So what is negative 5y plus 3y? That's negative 2y. What some people do accidentally is they forget that that song be sign belongs with the 5, and they do, what's 5 plus y? And then they put a minus sign, so be really, really careful. This is negative 5 plus y. Again, this is going to be my final answer, because I don't have like terms left. Now, that was a bit more work than these two, because these two were already collected for you. So let's look at this last one again. I'm going to circle the x's. I'm going to put a square around the y's, and let's say I'm going to put a squiggly around the constants. Then I put my x's together. I make sure that I add or I include the signs. I put my y's together, and I put my constants together. Then I simplify. Again, it's like this is one question, this is one question, and this is one question, so be careful. 3x's take away 5x's is negative 2x. Negative 6y plus 2y is negative 4y. And negative 1 plus 7 is 6. That is my final answer because I don't have any like terms left. So be really careful of the signs when you're doing these questions. Um, it does make a difference. Now let's look at what an application 
question might be based on this skill of collecting like terms. So this says write an expression for the perimeter. Well, perimeter of a triangle is just side plus side plus side. And these tick marks tell us that these two sides are actually the exact same thing. So all I need to do is add up my three sides. But it asked me for a simplified expression. So now I'm going to collect my like terms, put my x's together, and I'm going to put my constants together. Put my constants together. And then I simplify. So 2x's plus 4x's plus 2x's is 8x. And 5 minus 1 plus 5 is positive 9. That would be my final answer for a simplified expression for a perimeter. If I then said, let's say, um, if it said, if x equals 3 centimeters, what is the perimeter? You would then do 8 times 3 plus 9, and you would figure out the perimeter. And that's going to change based on what x is. So if they told you what x is, you would, could then substitute in and get the perimeter.